Welcome back to another exciting chemistry lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw Lewis dot structure, okay? And again, the key to drawing the correct Lewis dot structure is follow the steps one by one carefully. So the first step is determine the total number of valence electron from all the atoms in the chemical formula. And in this example, we are going to use carbonate, CO3, two minus right there. Now we are tackling the hardest question right here because we are dealing with ions. And when we work with ions, we remember negative is gaining electron, positive is losing electron. So when we have a negative ions, we are going to add in the electron. And then if we have positive, we are going to subtract the electron. So in this case, what do we have? We have CO3, two minus. So let's look at our periodic table. We have C, O, 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 and then we have this two minus. So that means we are going to plus two electron. So for carbon, we have four, group four A right there. We are looking at valence electron. For oxygen, it's in group six A, so six, one, two, three right there. Now we add them together. Okay, 10 plus 12 is 22 plus two, that is 24 electron total. Now the next step is determine the arrangement of atom. And the strategy is having the least electronegative in the center, and we remember that going this way, electronegativity increase because fluorine has the highest electronegativity. So if this one decrease going that way, down here would be En would do the opposite, which is decrease. So that is the trend for electronegativity. And remember, we are working with covalent compound where atoms share the valence electrons. So we're not going to working with a lot of metals. So that's why I take a screenshot and mostly is focusing on the non-metals. So the next thing we are going to do is, of course, in this case, carbon is all the way over here. So it's the least electronegative. So carbon is right here. And then we are going to determine where are the other atoms going to be. So we have three oxygen. You have to think of this because of electron repulsion, negative, negative repel each other. So I don't want to place them far apart as possible. And we had to work with a symmetry, or in this case, geometry. So we have oxygen here, oxygen there, and oxygen there. So do you see how oxygen are spread evenly around the central atoms? So in this case, we're pretty much done with the arrangement of atoms. And the next step is making a single bond, which we use two electrons. So every bond is a pair of electrons. If it's double bond, we have four electron. If it's a triple bond, and it is six electron. So what do we have here is we are going to make a bond between the central atom and the surrounding atom. So now how many do we use already? Two, four, six. So we have six electron. We have left 18. Okay, that is step number three. Okay, not bad so far. Now step number four, we are going to add in electron to the surrounding atoms, so that way they have an octet. But remember, hydrogen is the only atom that only needs two, right? Because of that exception. So in this case, we don't have hydrogen, so we don't have to worry about it. So we are going to place it until we have our octet. So we have two already. We need four, six, eight. Boom, done. We use six electrons. Keep that in mind, okay? And we do the same thing to the other surrounding atom. So two, four, six, eight. And here, two, four, six, eight. And notice how, again, I place the lone pair. This is called lone pair right here, okay? Because it's not sharing anything, okay? So these are lone pairs of electron. So they're not sharing in a bond. So now the next step is determine how much electron that we use already. So we have six, 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 that's 18. Oh, look at that. We use all of them, so we have zero left. So now all the surrounding atoms have eight valence electron. Now we have to go back to the central atom to make sure that it also has eight valence electron. Now in this case, you know right away, it does not because we use all the electron already. So what we need to do is we have to use one of those lone pair from the surrounding atom to make a double bond or a triple bond until the central atom has eight valence electron. So in this case, we can use any one of them is fine. So I'm gonna use this one. So this is gonna come in here and make a double bond. So because right here, we have carbon, one, two, three. That's only six electron, we need two more. So now if I take this over here, it's gonna share, right? It's no longer just belong to oxygen. It's gonna share, there you go. And we are pretty much done. We are pretty much done, that's it. The only thing left is we are going to redraw it again. In this case, we have double bond and we have 
right there, the lone pair, and we have oxygen right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have an oxygen right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we need to do, we need to put in a bracket to indicate that it is an ion, so it's two minus. And that's all we have to do. So the last step is the tricky part. So we have to make the central atom to have a valent electron by making a double bond or even a triple bond if we needed to. So let's move on to the next problem. Now let's draw a Lewis dot structure for another molecules. We have HCN. So again, hydrogen is in group 1A, so it has 1. And then carbon it is 4. And nitrogen it is 5. And we don't have any charges, so we don't add anything. And then for nitrogen it is in group 5A, so it's 5. So what's the total? In this case, we add them up. We have 10. In this case, we don't need to add or subtract any electron because it's not an ions. So now we have 10 electron total. Moving to step two, we know that carbon is least electronegative, so it's in the center. And nitrogen, of course, is going to be over here and hydrogen is over there. Notice I place them far apart as possible. And now we are pretty much done with step two. And now we go to step three. Step three, we are going to make a single bond, okay? And that's pretty much it. The next step is step four. We are going to make sure all the surrounding atom has eight valence electrons, except for hydrogen only need two, which is already did already because this is two electron. Now over here, we need two. So we need another two, another two, and another two. And there you go. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Now look at that. We use all ten electron. The last step, again, is the tricky steps because we have to make sure the central atom need to have eight valence electrons as well. And the only way you can do is moving the lone pair to share with the central atom. Over here, we don't have any lone pair, but over here we do. We have here, we can bring this down here, make a double bond. So now this share electron is gonna be count for both carbon and nitrogen. But two, four, six, we still need two more. So what we need to do is that double bond's not good enough. We need to bring down here, there you go. So here we have two, four, six, eight. Yes, and here we have two, four, six, eight. Yes, and that's all we have to do. Isn't that nice? Now let's draw a Lewis dot structure for a positive charge ions. In this case, we have ammonium right here. So the first step, of course, nitrogen is in group 5A, so it's five. Hydrogen, we have four of them, so we have four times one, because there are four of them, right? So what's the total? Well, before we do that, this right here is a plus, right? So what do we have to do? We have to subtract one. So five plus four is nine, nine minus one is eight. And that's all we have to do for step one. And step two, determine the arrangement of atoms. Again, hydrogen could never be in the center because it's only have one possible single bond. Now, of course, in this case, we're going to be nitrogen. And where are we gonna place the hydrogen? Around the nitrogen. And again, I'm going to put them so they are evenly spaced out. So step two is done. Now it goes to step three. We are going to make a single bond between the central atom and the surrounding atom. And how many did we use already? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, look at that. We use all of them. Now the last step is check that the central atom has eight valence electrons well. Well, two, four, six, eight, yes. Now we're pretty much done. So the only thing left we need to do is put in a bracket. Okay, put the bracket there and put a plus charge. Well, that's a little bit ugly. I'm gonna write right here. And that is the basic step to draw Lewis dot structure. In the next lesson, we are going to look at resin and look at an exception to drawing Lewis dot structure. So here we have our three Lewis dot structures. So let's plug in our answer. Now let's go check our answer. In this case, we have a question about carbonate and we are going to ask you to interpret specific atoms in this carbonate. So in this case, we look at carbon. Carbon has how many single bond? We have one, two. And then it has how many lone pair? It has zero lone pair. And that's all you have to do. So again, the question asks you to look at specific atoms in the Lewis dot structure. And as always, if you have any question, take a picture of your work, put it in the forum, and we will help you from there. And we'll see you next time on another exciting chemistry lesson.